Hello everyone, it's Fred again from Notes of a Nomad, video number 155. Just want to update you as what's going on in my life in the past week and what's happening in the next few days. It's my last few days here in Melbourne, Australia, and on Thursday I'll be flying out on my way to Nepal. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I have a long stayover in Singapore, and I'm planning to meet the ambassador for Agri Speakers. You might notice my smart new hat I just had made here in Melbourne. So I can utilize it while I'm in the school systems in uh, Nepal, representing Agri Speakers. And I, as you may notice, I'm a hat guy. And I'm going to meet the ambassador for uh, Singapore. He's going to meet me at the airport, even though I'm due to arrive after midnight. And I only leave the following, uh, well, later on in that day at, uh, well, I think it's just before 7 p.m. So I'm hoping to spend some time with Ben Peng, who is an amazing man that I really have got to know, but I've only met him on Zoom up to date. And we're hoping, I'm hoping we can go to a hawker stall and have a meal together. And uh, I, and the hawker stall, in case you don't know, I've been to Singapore. It's a long area where there's all the different food court. It's like a food court, but that it's just standalone. It's not part of a mall or anything. And uh, that's where you can get your entree at one stall, your main meal at another, your dessert at another, and what you want to drink at another stall. And uh, it's uh, very unique, I believe, to Singapore. So I'm looking forward to that and meeting Ben Peng. And then I fly out that evening to meet Ravi. And he said him and his other friend who I met online in Zoom as well will meet me at the airport. And the adventure for Nepal starts. I just want to mention that I will have intermittent access to the internet. And that will cause me having no ability to have phone calls or attend Zoom meetings until when I get back to Canada, the beginning of May. I will have access to email and I'll be able to probably make videos like I'm doing now. Those two I can do by phone calls. Like fortunately yesterday, I was managed to speak to my two cousins in uh, two of my cousins in Thunder Bay. Eileen, uh, my cousin, is on her way today, on their way to Arizona with her husband, Florin. And I spoke to my other cousin, who's 82, I think turns 83 uh, this year, Raymond. And uh, he's changed. It's been a couple of years since I managed to speak to him. He's moved from where he was living in his parents' house. He's now moved in with a, a, a lady friend. And uh, he's uh, settling down, but he's still making sauna stoves. So it was good to speak to Raymond and catch up. He's doing well. He's 80, 83 this year. So but those calls I will not be able to make and the Zoom meetings I will not be able to do when for the next few months. So I just thought I'd mention that. And on my way back uh, from Nepal, I am planning, it's still in the planning stages to meet with Jarob, who was on the truck that uh, we traveled from Cape Town to Cairo on. And Jarob's now in South Korea and he runs a school there. So I'm hoping to meet him on Sunday, April the 30th. I just have to try and get the right flights to set up that I can be at his place in Southern Korea on the day of the Sunday, the 30th of April. So that's in the works, and I look forward to seeing him because I haven't seen him for 10 years. And that was suggested to me by Kevin, who is the fellow I um, visited in British Virgin Islands before I came here. And thanks to Kevin, I'm uh, working on meeting with Jareb. I look forward to it. So those are the things that I'm working on at the moment. So I just want to reiterate why I make these videos for two reasons. The one reason is I often get people saying, Fred, where are you? What are you doing? Are you still alive? And I used to have to write emails. This way I can do a video on a regular basis, probably once a week. So far, I've been doing it once a week. 
And people can say, oh, he's still doing videos, so he's still alive. And they might watch it and say, oh, let's see what he's up to and what he's thinking about, what he's doing. And the second reason I do these videos is for my future descendants. Because great, I just had a meeting earlier this morning with um, fella and Toastmasters. And he I said, oh, if I was in a park bench and I could invite someone to speak to, it would be my great grandfather. The reason was his great grandfather came from Oklahoma by stagecoach, and I don't know the 1800s or so on, and came to Fort Calgary, in, you know, which is now Calgary. And there was 800 people in Fort Calgary when he first came from Oklahoma to Alberta. And now the city is over 1.6 million people. But he would love to talk to his great grandfather. And so I make these videos so a future descendant can say, what happened and what was going on with my great grandfather and say, wow, times have changed so much since, you know, the 1940s to the early 2000s. Wow, life is so different. And now I know a lot about my old great ancestor. So that's the second reason I do these videos. So with that, I'll say adios, au revoir, until I can shoot the next video, probably somewhere in Nepal. Wishing you, your family, and friends lots of love and laughter. Bye for now, from Fred and Notes of a Nomad.